The ability to edit is not the only important thing when filmmaking. You also need to be able to edit efficiently. Today, I'm showing you seven keyboard shortcuts that'll speed up the efficiency of your editing dramatically, starting with something that we do probably the most as editors, which is cutting and deleting clips, getting the cut together of our edit. So a lot of times people will, you know, press C, take out the cut tool, make two cuts, delete that part, and then drag the clip over. That's not what you want to do. I have a much faster way. My keyboard shortcuts file is going to be downloaded by the link in the description. You can do that to download and install the keyboard shortcuts for you. Just know that there are some that I've changed and tweaked to my own. So there might be some tweaks and changes from what you are used to using. To do this a lot faster, we have our cut tool set to E. So all we have to do is highlight over, hit E, go to our next part, hit E again, highlight the clip in the middle, and we're gonna ripple delete using F. And that's gonna automatically bring our clip over. Now, when I'm going through and editing, I'm gonna hit E, E, and F, and I'm just gonna use the dialog boxes to make all of my jump cuts. If there's ever a spot with no dialog, I go E, E, again and then f to ripple delete and now our clips are merging together just with our dialogue spots and we get a point where it's just the audio of me talking and we skip all the boring parts of me not talking the next shortcut is to link and unlink your clips faster a lot of times you'd have to right clip go to unlink and then you can drag this around freely what i do instead is i just have it linked to my x key so if i need to drag this around without dragging the audio i just hit the x button i can move this track around i can move the audio around and then if i want to link those clips again just select them both using shift and then hit x again and now now they are both linked. Tip number three is adjusting the gain of your audio tracks. If you just click the audio track here and then hit G, it'll bring up this. You can adjust the gain or set the gain to or normalize your max or all peaks. You also can just use the bracket buttons and go up and down by one increment at a time of decibel gain. This is a great way to get a lot more precise other than dragging this bar around, which can definitely be a hassle. It's something I don't like doing. So instead I use either the G button to adjust my gain manually, or I'll just use the bracket keys to adjust it by one dB each. Tip number four is adjusting the speed of your clip. Now, obviously you can right click on the FX, go to time remapping speed and adjust the speed layer here, depending on what you want. But if you want an exact value, you already know what you want. Just hit control R on your clip. It'll bring up the clip speed duration. You can put it at 50%, at 200%. You can reverse the speed, maintain audio pitch, ripple edit, delete, trailing clips, etc. And you can also change this to optical flow if you're slowing down your clip. But all you have to do is hit control R to bring up that menu and it gives you a lot of control just by hitting two keys on your keyboard. Now, when you're editing, you never want to be destructive. So our tip number five is how to hide clips faster. If you have a client that wants to change something, tweak something, you don't want to have to go into the raw footage and try to figure out where that part is implemented. It's going to take way longer to do. The best way to avoid that is to hide clips that you're not using. The best way to do that that I found is by using shift E. So if I want to hide this entire clip here, I can just hit shift E and it will hide it. It disables the clip. It's the same thing as right clicking, clicking enable, right clicking, clicking disable. However, if you want to do just the video or just the audio. Maybe you redid a voiceover and you just want to hide the audio here and replace it. I'm going to unlink my clips by hitting X, just like our tip earlier, and hit Shift E on the audio track, and we can replace whatever audio we want down here below. And this audio will not be playing now. It's totally separate. It's totally disabled just by two quick keystrokes. Much faster. And if you want, you could even drag this over and save it. What I usually do is I'll save it on the side of my clips just so I can bring that back if I do need it at a later time. Say a client requests it, whatever. Now, let's say you need to insert something into the middle like say right here, but you don't want to go and individually drag all these clips. If you hit A on the keyboard, it'll bring up this track select forward tool. You can move every single clip down the timeline, insert whatever you need to. Or if you just need to move one row, you can hit shift A and you'll select just those clips. So since these are linked, it's selecting them both. But if I unlink those and I just need to move this and insert something there, hold shift A to select all those clips forward, press V to go back to the move tool and you can move just that row. Now, let's say you have an effect. You've put it on an adjustment layer because you're a organized, clean editor, but you want to duplicate the effect later on in the edit. As you can see here, I have this vignette on my clip. I want to put that later on. So I'm just going to alt and drag on this clip and that duplicates it without adjusting the first one at all. So now we have that effect duplicated. This works for any layer. If you want to duplicate your face cam, duplicate your audio, duplicate any sort of clip, just hold alt and then drag on it. And then that will enable you to duplicate it. This works really well with duplicating effects. You use them once, twice, three times, however many times in an edit. That's just an easy, simple way to do it. Just alt dragging. Now, there are definitely a ton more keyboard presets that I use, but these are the main ones. So I wanted to include them in a simple video for y'all. Again, the link to download my keyboard presets is included in the description below. If that's something you're interested in. Editing efficiently is such an important part to being an editor. I have a ton more concepts that'll help speed up your workflow coming later on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those. Like the video if you did find it helpful or if you did enjoy. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching.